Okay, so today we have two people, A and B, sitting on a seesaw that has a length of 15 meters. Now, person A has a mass of 50 kilograms and sits directly at the end of the seesaw on the left side. And we want to know where must person B sit to balance the seesaw if their mass is 65 kilograms. So, let's write down what we know. So we know the mass of person A equals 50 kilograms. We know the mass of person B equals 65 kilograms. And we want to know where must person B sit in order for it to be equal. So we want to know what this distance D is here. But let's, let's first figure out where person A is sitting. So, if, if the seesaw is a total of 15 meters and person A sits directly halfway on the other side, I mean the distance for person A is going to be 7.5 meters from the axis rotation. The half right, if the axis rotation is halfway in the seesaw, then person A is 7.5 meters away from the axis rotation. So, and we call that the radius of person A. So we're going to write R sub A equals seven point five meters. Now we we want to figure out what is R sub B. Where is person B sitting? What I'm going to use is I'm going to use torque. You've all heard of torque, right? Hopefully you have by now. We've done a couple of these problems in class. We know that torque given by tau is R cross F which equals RF sine of theta. Okay. So, I guess my next question is then what is the force being applied on the seesaw? Well, that force is going to be the people's weight. Right? The first thing is just the weight down. Oh, let me put that down now first. And we call that weight, right? The force of gravity. So this is the first of gravity and the first of gravity. All right, so the weight then, the force of gravity is, and this person A is the mass of person A times G and this is the mass of person B times G. Okay. Now, this angle. Gravity is acting straight down and the axis rotation is this is completely perpendicular. Yeah, so theta oops. So theta in this case equals ninety degrees. And we know that the sine of ninety is one. So in this case our torque equation equals the radius times force. And so for static equilibrium, we need the torque of torque of person A to equal the torque of person B. Oops. Wow. Okay. There you go. Torque of person B. Well, the torque of person A is the force of gravity of person A times the distance. So we're going to go ahead and write that then as so it's going to be RA FA equals RB FB. We said that already that RA 
and then FA is the same as MA, the weight, times G, equals RB, MV, G. Okay, well, one thing I noticed here is that these G's I have done on both sides. So the G's cancel out. That leads me with this following equation. That RA MA equals RB MB. And so I know I want to get RB, so I get divided by MB on both sides. So that leaves me with RA MA over MB equals equals RB. Now I'm just going to do some simple plug and chug because we have this. So it would be 7.5 times the mass of person A divided by 60. Let me write that neither though. By 60. And that equals doing the math, that's 5.77 meters. So, this means that person A sits 7.5 meters, then person B sits 5.77 meters, so closer to the center. So person B weighs more, so in order for it to be balanced, person B has to sit closer to the center and either the C to be in static equilibrium.